Then good afternoon. Bwana Yesu asifiwe na habari ya mchana. Praise God and hallelujah. Bwana Yesu asifiwe na hallelujah. Yes, this is Cornerstone Faith Assembly. Hapa ni kanisa la Cornerstone Faith Assembly. Where grace and love abide. Mahali neema na upendo vinadumu. And of course in this place I belong. Na hapa mimi na wewe tunastahili. So I take this opportunity to welcome you wherever you are. Nachukua fursa hii kukualika popote pale ulipo. Wherever you're watching us from. Popote pale utazama kutoka. I take this opportunity need to say let us worship the lord nachukua fursa hii kukualika ili tumwabudu bwana kwa pamoja and later on we shall hear the word of god na baadaye tutasikia neno la bwana kindly you can share this broadcast unaweza shiriki ibada hii to as many as possible kwa watu wengi kama inavyowezekana and even you can go even to youtube channel pia uende kwenye channel yetu ya youtube there are a lot of stuff there to watch kuna huduma nyingi pale wewe kutazama and i believe you are going to be blessed na naamini kwamba utabarikiwa with me is the band nami ni wana bandi and they are going to take us to that level of worship. Na watakuwa kutuongoza katika hali ya maabudu. And may God bless you as you tune in. Na Bwana akubariki unapojiunga pamoja na sisi. In Jesus name. Katika jina la Yesu. Hallelujah. We worship you, O God. We exalt, we exalt you, you O Jesus. Lord. There is none like you, O God. Hallelujah, O God. Your name we is Yahweh. Name. You are highly lifted up high. God, oh God, all by yourself. There is none your like you, Lord. Jesus. Yes, you are worthy like of our adoration this afternoon, O God. Kings, Lord because you are mighty Lord. in all of your ways, O God. Oh, you we are exalt you, Jesus. We bless yes, you, are holy yes, you are worthy. Yes, you are worthy, Lord. Is it you are worthy of my praise? Oh, oh, oh. You are worthy of my praise. Is it? You are worthy of my praise. Oh. Oh. You are worthy of my praise. Oh. Is it? Is it? You are worthy of my praise. Yes, Lord, you are worthy of my praise. Jehovah God. Oh, 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 you are worthy of my praise. You are worthy of my praise. Jehovah God. Oh, 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 you are worthy of my praise. Call him Jire. Jire. Yes, Lord, you, you are worthy of my praise. Say, oh, 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 you are worthy of my praise. Call him Jire. Shama, Shama, Shama. Yes, Lord, you, you are worthy of my praise. Oh, 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 you are worthy of my praise. His name is Shama, Shama, Shama. You are worthy of my praise. Shalom. Shalom. Yes, Lord, you, you are worthy of my praise. Yes, God. Oh, 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 you are worthy of my praise. Shalom. Shalom. Yes, Lord, you are worthy of my praise. Yes, dear Lord. Oh, 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 you are worthy of my praise. Yes, Lord, you are 
worthy of my praise. Oh, you are worthy of my praise. Eze, eze, eze. Yes, Lord. You are worthy of my praise. You are worthy of my praise, Lord. Dear Lord. Raise your hand as you say, yes, 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 Lord. You are worthy of my praise. You are worthy of my praise. Oh, you are worthy of my praise. Call him Shama. Shama. My God. You are worthy of my praise. Lord, you are worthy of all praise, Jehovah God. Jesus, you are worthy you of are Shama, Lord. Shalom is your name, because God. Because you are Yahweh. Jireh, our provider, God. Who you are, you are worthy of my you praise. You are worthy of all praise, For being called all by yourself, you are worthy of all praise, O God. For being Jehovah, Jireh, the provider of all that we need, you, you are worthy of my praise. You are worthy, For being Jehovah, Shama, the one, the other of mine, the one, the other of mine, for you are worthy of my lifting hands, O oh God. Oh, oh you are lifted Jehovah. high, Lord. You are lifted high, Jesus, O oh God. You are lifted high, O oh God. Hey. Yes, you are worthy of my praise. La kabaya dada bo shete yendele ma. Yes, Lord. Oh, Jehovah. The one that fights my battles. You are worthy of my praise. You are worthy of my praise. You are highly lifted, God. You are worthy of my King of kings, Lord of lords. Oh, shalom is your name, O God. Oh, we are tonight, Lord. Oh, Ebenezer. Your name is Yahweh. You are worthy of our praise. You are worthy of our praise. You are worthy of our praise. The creator of the universe, God. You are highly lifted high. You are highly exalted, Lord. Oh. You are worthy, Lord. You are worthy. You are worthy. Yes, Lord. Mighty warrior, great in battle, Jehovah is your name. Jehovah is your name, mighty warrior, mighty warrior, great in battle, Jehovah is your name, mighty warrior, mighty warrior. Oh, 
you are mighty in battle. Lord of all hosts is your name. Great in battle. 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 The one that is Jehovah Nisi, whose banner is lifted up high. You are mighty in battle. 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 Mighty one. Amen. 
Viewers, this is Cornerstone Faith Assembly Church. Watazamaji, hapa ni Cornerstone Faith Assembly. We continue to, to welcome you. Tunaendelea kwa karibisha. We are your host today. Sisi ndiyo wenye jiwenu leo. And us and the present worship the band and Pastor Amos and others we are ministering uh, to you today. Kikundi cha sifa mchungaji Julius nami pamoja na kila mtu tuko pamoja na wewe leo. Amen. Amina. So today... Leo, thank you, thank you, President Worship. May, may God bless you so much. Mungu na bariki sana. Amen. Thank you for your ministry. Asante kwa huduma yenu. We want to thank the Lord for the opportunity to stand here before uh, you great people of God. Tuashukurubana kwa sababu ya kutusimamisha hapa mbeleze nu watu waku. It is not because we are better than others. Si kwa sababu sisi tu bora kuliko watu wengine. There are others who are well able than us. Kuna wengine walio na uwezo zaidi kuliko sisi. Tukiongea na vijana tunasemaga kuna wazito kutushinda. As we talk with young men, we use such, such words. Yes, so it is a grace of God upon us. Na ni neema ya mungu juu yetu. To stand here and to minister, we thank our Father and our God. Tusimama hapa, tuashukuru mungu baba wetu. And our authority and our pastor, Bishop Dr. Francis Kamau, wherever he is and his family. Na pia tunashukuru mamlaka yetu, askofu Kamau, pamoja na jamii yake. We thank you very much, sir. Asante sana, buwana. Amen. Asante. Buwana sifiwe. Buwana. So today we are going to share the word Leo tunaenda kushiriki neno on when you delight yourself in the Lord. Ambalo kichwa chake ni unapo jifurahisha katika mungu. When you delight yourself in the Lord, unapo jifurahisha katika buwana, there are things that the Lord will do. Kuna mambo ambayo buwana atafanya. And those things, na mambo yale, they come when we, we delight ourselves in the Lord. Huja wakati ambapo tunajifurahisha katika buwana. I was looking at the dictionary. The word delight. Neno hilo kufurahi. Sasa mbali ni meandika tazi mepotea. It says. Ya sema hivi. To delight is to please someone greatly. Ni hile hali ya kufurahisha mtu kwa njia kuu. An experience guaranteed to delight both young and old. Na ile hali ya ujuzi wa kuweza kufurahisha wale wakubwa na wadogo. The, in, the, in the context of the word of God. Na tunapo leta hili sasa katika neno la mungu. It says delight, uh, it is to take pleasure, to give keen enjoyment. Ni inasema ni kule kupendeza, kufurahisha mfalme. To give joy to or satisfaction to. Uh, kumfanya yule, kufanya uh, kuleta marilisho. Therefore to delight in God. Ili kwamba sasa hapa inamanisha kurilisha mungu ama kufurahia shakarika mungu. Or to delight the God's law. Ama kufurahisha sharia za mungu. Amen. So I'm dwelling on the word delight. Nina gaga pale katika neno lile kufurahi. Amen. And what? It happens when we delight in the Lord. You know, as believers, it is our responsibility to cause ourselves to have joy and to have fun in, the, in, in, in salvation. Most of the time we think it is God who is obligated to make us happy in salvation. Mara kwa mara tunaliona kama ni jukumula mungu kuweza kutuofanya kuona raha katika wakovu. But it is us we have to enjoy the grace of salvation. Lakini ni sisi wenyewe tufurahie neema ya wakovu. And the full benefits of salvation. Na faida zote kikamilifu zinazo kuja pamoja na wakovu. So there are protocols and things that we need to do so that we can enjoy spiritually and physically what God gave us. Na kwa hivyo, kuna taratibu ambazo zinahitajika ili tuweza kujikota mahali pale. We can shout and we can scream. Tunaweza kupiga mayoe na tupase sauti kubwa. We can sing and we can dance. Tunaweza kuimba na kucheza. But we can go home, at the end of the day we go home broken and depressed and stressed and hating people and hating yourself. Lakini mwisho wa kila kitu tunaenda tumeteseka kima wazo na Hatuna furaha, hatuna jilaumu wenyewe. That's why we need to be fed with the word of God. Na hiyo ndiyo sababu tuahitaji 
So one of the things that make us to have the success in life, these are the things that we ought to be have been taught when we are coming into salvation. It is to delight yourself in the Lord. Let us read the scripture in Psalm 37. Zaburi 37 tusome. Verse 3 and 4. Those who are in the sanctuary kindly stand. Walio kanisani tafadhali simameni. We respect the word. So that uh, tuweze kuheshimu neno la Mungu. I will read the verse 3 and 4 then Pastor Amos will interpret later. Mstari wa 4 na wa 5 tutasoma. It is a common scripture that we quote every day. Ni mstari ambao tunanukulu kila siku. But we have to understand what they say. Lakini inabidi tuelewe maana yake nini. Verse 3 Trust in the Lord. Trust in the Lord and do good. So shall thou dwell in the land, and verily thou shalt be fed. Verse 4. Delight thyself also in the Lord, and he shall give thee the desires of thine heart. Verse 5. Commit thy way unto the Lord, trust also in him, and he shall bring it to pass. Amen. You may have your seats. As we describe delight, it is having great pleasure in someone. We must have great pleasure in the Lord. So when you, today's topic is when you delight yourself in the Lord. So verse 4 it says, Delight thyself also in the Lord. And he shall give thee the desires of thine heart. Most of the time we quote this verse. God shall give me the desires of my heart. God shall bless me and this because it is a desire of my heart. As I, and it says in the preceding line. It, it says delight thyself also in the Lord. As you want to delight yourself in the desires of your life, first delight in yourself in the Lord. So he says when you delight, when you have pleasure in me, then I shall give thee the desires of your heart. We know we have different kinds of desires. When you are growing up as a young, young, young man and women, we had fantasies and desires that we wanted in our lives. And we did not even come near them. So even when we are in, in, in the work of salvation, we desire some things and we do want to delight ourselves in those things. But we forget the first protocol, the first law of that desire, of, of fulfilling, of, of getting your desires. It is to, to delight ourselves. To have pleasure in the Lord. It says to take pleasure, to give enjoyment, to have keen enjoyment in the Lord. Many people do not have enjoyment in the Lord. In fact, many people threaten the Lord. I, I always worry and feel sorry for those people who threaten the Lord and they, te and they say it as a testimony. And I, and I feel sorry for them. They say, I told the Lord, if you don't do this and this to me, me and you, we are done. And they claim after threatening the Lord that way, the Lord gave them what they asked for. As I was meditating on that, the Spirit of the Lord asked me a question. How do they know that it is, the, it is God who answered that prayer? Because the devil can answer that prayer so that in your 
ignorance of life ili katika ukumbavu kimaisha you be praying that prayer of threatening god utakuwa ukimtishatia bwana kila wakati katika maombi and he, he, the scriptures came into me asking me demanding me na neno likaja kwangu likinikumbusha if we know who god is kama tunajua mungu ni nani even our physical body dreads him tunapomjua hata miili yetu inatetemeka even the bible says in the book of james hata biblia inasema katika kitabu cha yakobo demons they know god mapepo amjua mungu and they tremble na wanatetemeka so the devil can answer that prayer kwa hivyo shetani anaweza kujibu lile ombi so that you may think god answer that prayer ili udhani kwamba mungu alijibu lile ombi when you threatened him ulipomtisha at mimi nilimwambia nda backslide if he does not give me this and this kama hata nifanyia lili na hili and he did it to me for me na akanifanyia the enemy may grant you that adui anaweza kupatia kile so that you may dwell in that ignorance of life ili uweze kuishi katika ule upumbavu wa maisha we are told to come before god in a humble heart tunaambiwa tuje mbele za bwana katika mioyo iliyonyenyekea god says mungu anasema he humble he exalted the proud yeye anainua wale ambao he lowered the no 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 he humbled the proud yeye ana wanyenyekesha wale ambao ni wa wenye kiburi and he exalted the humble na anawainua wale walio wanyenyekevu peter peter came back and said petero karudi na kusema gold resisted the, the proud mungu huwakataa wale ambao ni wenye kiburi in other word when you are running like in a, in a rugby ball football game unapokimbia kimbia kama mtu anacheza mpira wa vikapu the defenders they elbow those who are running with the ball wale ambao uh, wana linda ngome wanazuia wale ambao wanataka kuja kushambulia they elbow them and they make them fall down na wana wazuia wanaangusha chini so that they do not achieve the goal of running with the ball to the, end, to the other end ili kwamba wasifaulu kufikisha mpira kwenye kikapu that is how god does hivyo ndivyo mungu anavyo he resists the proud yeye anakataa wale ambao ni wenye kujivuna he elbows them yeye anawazuia so that they cannot achieve what they want to achieve ili kwamba wasifikie kile ambacho ni lengo lao so when we pray such prayers kwa hivyo unapopendeza wachezaji kama wale and they were answered kama liomba maombi ya kama yanakajibiwa you should go back and ask god inabidi uende kwa mungu na umuulize was it really you je kweli ilikuwa ni wewe because god exalts only the humble kwa sababu mungu huinua wale ambao ni wenyenyekevu tu so if he sing verse 4 kwa hivyo anasema mstari wa 4 delight thyself also jifurahishe pia in the lord katika bwana and he shall give thee the desires of the lord na atakupatia matamanio ya moyo wako most of the desires that we have matamanio mengi tulionayo most of the time they are not from god mara kwa mara hatoki kwa mungu so the reason god is commanding us to delight first in him na sababu ya mungu kutuombu kutuliza kwamba tujifurahie katika yeye because he knows he has, when you delight in him there is power to that promise ni kwa sababu anajua kwamba tunapofurahika katika yeye kuna nguvu katika ile ahadi he has said he will fulfill the desires of he will give thee the desires of your heart amesema atakupatia matamanio ya moyo wako so god is very smart kwa hivyo mungu ana ni mjanja sana so first he tells us jambo la kwanza anatuambia delight yourself in me jifurahishe ndani yangu then i'll give thee the desires of your heart kisha nitakupatia matamanio ya moyo wako god knows we have desires that are not of god mungu anajua kwamba tuna matamanio ambayo hayatoki kwa he knows we have selfish desires anajua tuna matamanio ambayo ina ubinafsi mwingi he knows we have envy and we have lust and we can we can, we can be desiring our neighbors things tuna wivu na tunaweza kuwa tunatamani mambo ya majirani yetu so god could not have up and left this text up and say no. i will give you the desires of your heart na kwa hivyo mungu hange acha neno hili wazi ya kwamba nitawapatia matamanio ya moyo wenu he knew if he said that alijua angelisema hivyo the righteous will be depending on this scripture to do to, to ask for things that are not of god wenye haki wangelienda mbele za mungu kuomba mambo ambayo si ya kiungu so he said kwa hivyo akasema before i give you your desires kabla ya kupatia matamanio yako before i anoint your lips to become the greatest worship leader kabla ya kupaka uweze kuwa uh, mwimbaji wa sifa na ibada before you play an instrument and the presence of god is moving and cripples are walking kabla ya kupatia talanta ya kucheza kinanda na viwete watembee first delight yourself in me kwanza 
Because you cannot play an instrument. You cannot worship before God. And expect your worship to touch the people. If you have not delighted to the father of those people. So he first tells you come and delight in me first. Then I will give you the desires of your heart. So he knows when he gives you when you delight in him. Every other desire in your life. When you desire when you delight in him, he knows your desires should be changed. So he will start changing your desires slowly. And you will realize that you are no longer desiring those things that you desired before. For he says in Psalm 40, verse 8. 40, verse 8. He says, I delight to do thy will. Oh my God. And he says, thy law is within my heart. You see, he says what? Your law is within my heart. And because the law of God is within his heart, he delights to do the will of God. So if God is to give you the desires of your, of your heart, his law must be in your heart that it, that it may help you to delight in God. Then God, as He puts it, His desire in you, because the Word of God is now in your heart, and it is delighting you to love Him, your desires are changed. You start desiring more of God, more of His presence, more of His, of his instructions. So for our business that we are doing to prosper, we must dwell in the word of God that it may dwell in our heart. Then what is in our heart? It will cause us to delight in the Lord. Then the Lord will now give us the desires of our heart because they are aligned in his word. Hallelujah. Amen. Am I communicating? Yeah, uh -huh. now says. Aha. The that he says. Anasema pia. I will thy law is within my heart. Sheria yako imo moyoni mwangu. In the book of Isaiah. Let me check Isaiah 458. Isaiah 58. Verse 14. It says. Nasema hivi. 8 verse 14. Mhm. Mm then Kisha. shall thou delight thyself in the Lord. Because the context is easier. Verse 13 he says, If thou turn away thy foot from the Sabbath, if thou turn away thy foot from the Sabbath, from doing thy pleasure on my holy day, and call the Sabbath a delight. You see the thing is, is God is expecting us to delight in them. You delight in my Sabbath. The holy of the Lord. Honorable, uh, honorable. Uh, and shall honor him. Doing thy own way. No. Not, not doing their own ways. Bila kutena mambo yako mwenyewe. Or finding the, the, your own pleasure. Zako mwenyewe. Now speaking your own words. Na, uh, neno yako mwenyewe. I simplify his saying. Uh, if you honor my Sabbath day, yangu, take that day that is holy before God and you honor it. Na ya bwana, na and you don't know, you do not speak your own things. Na maneno yako and you do not have pleasure in other things. Na mambo mengine, then verse 14 comes in. Wa basi pale then shall thou delight thyself in the Lord. Basi you see the preceding verse is, is 
telling us the things that can cause us not to delight ourselves in the Lord. If you do all the verse 13 things, you'll be empowered to do that for verse 14. Then shall thou delight thyself in the Lord, and I will cause thee to write upon the high places of the earth. Some that is seven, some, some that seven four says. The first thing he will give is the desires of your heart. Some uh, fifty, some four, some forty verse seven. But we read, he was telling us how he desires to do the, desire, the, will, the will of God. Isaiah now comes with another one. He tells you, when then you shall delight yourself in the Lord. And then if you, if you delight yourself in the Lord, he, I will cause you I will cause thee to ride upon high places of the earth. Why are other people good worshippers? Why, why, why are other people good men and women of God? They are riding higher than us. When they call for a meeting, we run to them. When a certain worship leader comes in town, those who love worship, they will run to that place because they have delighted themselves in the Lord. God is causing them to ride upon the high places of the earth. So because they are delighted, they are serving God and they are delighted in the Lord. So God, Isaiah says, I will cause you to ride upon, upon the high places of the earth. I will feed thee with the heritage of Jacob. The heritage of Jacob, thy father. For my mouth, for the mouth of the Lord has spoken. That's why some people are so great in, in, in ministries. Others are great in leaderships. They knew for them to become great where men are. And men are hard people to lead. And to acquire resources is very hard. So Isaiah gives us a secret. It is not dictating people around. Simply delight yourself in the Lord. And he will cause you to ride on high places. Hallelujah. Amen. That is the desire of every man and every woman. That God will cause us. Let me read the NIV version. Aha. Then you will find joy, your joy, your joy in the Lord. And I will cause you to ride on the heights of the land. Ah, and it says, and to feast on the inheritance of your father Jacob. This comes when you delight yourself in the Lord. When you delight yourself in the Lord, the, the, the number three things that will happen, it says this, the first one will give you the desires of your heart. The second I've read Isaiah, what it says, it, he will cause you to ride on high places. And you will feast on the heritage of your father Jacob. A few years ago, a few months after I gave my life to Christ, I had some funny desires. I really wanted to go to the US. I prayed every day I wanted to go to the US. So when I was not born again, I didn't know uh, how to, I, I need to pray for that to give favor to come. So I was just desiring. I want to go to the US. 
but my desires lakini matamanio yangu was so fleshly yalikuwa ya kimwili sana i feel i think god felt sorry for me na mungu naona alinihurumia so when i i give my life to christ Every night I will sit outside my door. Kila usiku kwenye mlango wangu and I will look out at the skies. Ningeangalia kule mawinguni. And I will see a light flickering like, like this at night. Na nikaona mwangaza ukingangaa kule usiku. And I will tell that is an aeroplane going to the US. Nikasema ile ni ndege inaenda Marekani. And I will imagine myself that night on that plane. Na ningejiwaza usiku ile nikiwa kwenye ile ndege. That one day I will be need going to the US. Na siku moja nitakuwa na nani yake nikienda Marekani. So tell God. Now, now that I have given my life to Christ. Sasa kwa sababu nimekuja kwa Kristo. Take me to the US. Sasa nipeleke Marekani. When I go there I will not sin. Nikienda pale sitatenda dhambi. I want to go to there. Hata nikienda pale. Now listen to the desires of my heart. Askiza matamanio ya moyo wangu. I want to go to the US. Nataka kuna Marekani. So that I can go and wash the dishes. Ili kwamba niende nikaoshe and do lawn mowing. Na nikaende kukata nyasi kule. So that I can come back and buy a car and a plot. Ili niweze kurudi ninunue gari na plot. And I could see myself cleaning the utensils in the hotels. Na ningejiona katika ile picha ya kuosha ma, masufuria na masani kwenye hoteli. In the US. Kule Marekani. I will even get angry when I'm praying. Hata ningekuwa na hasira ninapo. God give me this desire. Bwana nipatie haya. In fact I was calling it a dream. Nilikuwa naita ndoto bwana. But when I grew up in the word of God. I, I read to you Psalm 47 40 verse 7. I, I'm saying I just read to you what but I, I Psalm 47 said. He said Anasema, you will delight in the Lord. Then he says that when because, because your law is in me. Therefore I will delight the Lord. So the more I grew in the word of God. The more I became sensible. The more my desires were changed. The more my desires were, were turned upside down. So one time I thought why should I go there and wash the dishes? And this God can even cause me to own my own hotels there. And the more I grew in the word of God, then the word of God put a new desire in me from cleaning dishes to the US to, to now desiring to preach the word of God. You see now God changed the desires of my heart. And immediately when I transitioned to the desires of God I preaching the word of God studying the word of God the opportunity came. And today this is what we are doing. And the other day I was saying if God dare to answer that prayer that time kama Mungu ale angejibu lile ombi wakati ule singekuwa nimeokoka saa hizi. That life of there. Aha. That we see in the movies. Aha. It will, it will have messed me up. Today I have another desire. I know I, I say God. Nasema Mungu. I know you can open doors. Najuaweza kufungua milango. Where I wanted to go and wash dishes. Mahali ambapo nilikuwa na yeye nikaosha mazao. They host me as a dignitary. Waweze kunikaribisha na kuni because I am now representing the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. You see now it is the delight in the Lord that changed the desires of my heart. Job 22 verse 26 says this is the scripture that I, I read when I was one year in salvation. And I knew I will become a man of God. But then I saw Matthew and I saw Job. And I told someone and they laughed at me. But now today it is happening. Job said in verse 26. Let me begin in verse 25. Yeah, the Almighty shall be thy defense. And thou shalt have plenty of silver. Isaiah says we shall feasts on the heritage of Jacob. Job says you shall have plenty of silver. Now for verse 26. For then shalt thou have thy delight in the Almighty. 
Maana pale ndipo utakapofurahi katika Mungu mwenye enzi. And shall lift up thy face unto God. Na utainua uso wako kwa Mungu. When you delight yourself in the Lord. Utakapofurahia katika Bwana. You will have confidence to lift your face unto the Lord. Utakuwa na ujasiri wa kuinua uso wako kumwelekea Mungu. When you are when you are always a sin full your sin consciousness unapokuwa na ile dhamiri ya dhambi when you are always full of sin consciousness unapokuwa na ile hali ya kujisikia mwenye dhambi you have no confidence to lift your face to the lord hauna ujasiri wa kuinua uso wako mbele za Mungu but when you delight in yourself in him lakini unapofurahika ndani yake he says you shall lift thy face unto god anasema kwamba utainua uso wako mbele za Mungu and thou shall make thy prayer unto him na uta afanya maombi yako mbele za Mungu and he shall hear you na atakusikia and thou shall pay your vows na ataweza kuheshimu uh, nadhiri zako verse 28 speaks of decreeing a thing and it shall be established 28 anasema kwamba utanena na itathibitika ita, ita you can read it on your own your, uh, uh, when you are on your own unaweza kujisomea mwenyewe but i'm talking about delighting yourself in the lord kinaongea habari ya kujifurahisha katika bwana he says you shall have confidence to lift your face unto him anasema utakuwa na ujasiri wa kuinua uso wako mbele zake and you shall call upon him na utamuita and he shall hear you na atakusikia and he shall answer you na atakujibu that was he says he says uh, Thou shall make thy prayer unto him. Ndivyo anavyosema kwamba utafanya maombi yako mbele za Bwana. And he shall hear you. Na atakusikia. And shall and you shall pay your vows to him. Na wewe utatii ama utaheshimu nadhiri zako mbele za Bwana. And when you delight yourself in the Lord. Unapojifurahisha katika Bwana. Now it's verse 28 29 30 gives you the things that will happen in your life. Ishirini inasema kwamba mambo yale atakayotendeka. His authority shall be upon you. Mamlaka yatakuwa juu yako. I read verse 28 thou shall also decree a thing utanena jambo and it shall be established unto thee na itadhibitika kwako and the light shall shine upon thy ways na mwangaza utakuwa njiani mwako why is that why is that so mbona iwe hivyo because verse 26 says you delight in the almighty kwa sababu 26 inasema kwamba umefurahi katika mwenye nguvu if you delight in the almighty ukijifurahi katika Mungu mwenye enzi the almighty gives you his almighty power Mungu mwenye enzi anakupatia nguvu zake then you will decree a thing kwa hivyo utatangaza jambo and it shall be established na itadhibitika but believers who are decreeing things lakini waumini tu watangaza mambo and they are not as being established lakini hayatendeki why kwa sababu gani we want to move big things kwa sababu tunafanya tunataka kuondoa mambo makubwa with flesh mentality kwa kwa nyama zetu and with fleshly desires na katika matamanio ya mwili yetu and, and the bible says delight yourself in the almighty na biblia inasema kwamba jifurahishe katika mwenye nguvu imagine when the almighty is seated hebu fikiria mungu mwenye enzi akiwa ameketi pale and he is seeing his son delighting in the almighty na anaona mwanawe akijifurahisha katika yeye mwenyewe then the, uh, the dna of the almighty alafu ule uungu because we are spirit being when we are worshiping him kwa sababu sisi ni wa kiroho tunapomwabudu there is a transaction in the spirit kuna ile hali ya mabadiliko katika kiroho when you delight in the almighty unapofurahika katika mwenye enzi he gives you might anakupatia nguvu the bible says in isaiah 11 katika Isaya 11 there is a spirit of might kuna roho wa nguvu if you read Isaiah you see it ukisoma Isaya so when you delight in the almighty unapojifurahia kwa Mungu he gives you might atakupatia nguvu to decree a thing utangaza jambo and that thing obeys you na lile jambo litatii because he say the almighty is backing you up kwa sababu bila sema kwamba mwenye nguvu ako nyuma yako haven't you read that the almighty shall be thy defense in verse 24 je haujasoma kwamba mwenyezi Mungu atakuwa kinga How much more if you delight in this almighty? Na je itakuwa zaidi kiasi gani? He shall be our defense. We shall fear no evil. Hatutaogopa maovu. We shall decree with confidence. Tutatangaza kwa kwa ujasiri. And the matter shall be settled. Na jambo litadhibitika. That's why Job tells us. Na hapa ndipo Ayub anatuambia. Delighting in the almighty. Jifurahishe katika mwenye enzi. First for John 4:17 says. Waraka wa kwanza wa Yohana. Here is our confidence. Hapa ndipo ujasiri wetu ulipo so that in the day of judgment ili kwamba siku ya hukumu let me read it let, let, let me read it hebu nisome first john 4:17 as it is so we are that verse waraka wa kwanza wa yohana 14:14 inasema this is our confidence huu ndio ujasiri wetu and this way 
love is made complete among us so that we will have confidence on the day of judgment. Because in this world, we are like him. The, the thing that makes you confidence, confidence to say that as he is, so are we, is because of his love. He says, in this way, Love is made complete among us. Upendo unakamilika miongoni mwetu. King James calls it, calls it confidence. Tafsiri ya King James inaita ujasiri. So every day. Kwa hivyo kila siku. If you delight in God. Ukifurahika katika Mungu. We shall ride on high higher higher lands. Tutapaa juu katika maeneo ya juu. We shall feast in the heritage of Jacob. He shall be our, our defense. He shall cause us to raise our face unto him. Make, and make our prayer to him. And he will answer. And he will give us ability to decree. So when you go to decree a thing, first check your, spirit, your spiritual man. Have you delighted yourself in the Lord? Are you sure you are delighted in him? The, the Jacob job puts it well. Job. Delight yourself in the Almighty. As I finish, I just want to encourage us to know when you want to, de to delight yourself in Him is to delight in His Word. When you delight in His Word, you will delight in His, in his heart. You will delight in Him and you shall be you know delighting is very hard especially when you don't know what you are delighting how to delight so how to delight is to know is to, is to love the word of God so if you, if you desire to delight in the, in the Lord you must delight in his word and you shall be able to to delight, let me read some verse one, chapter one, verse two. Zaburi amlango wa kwanza msari wa pili. This one can guide us in how to delight in the Lord. Jinsi ya kufurega rika bwana. He says, inasema hivi. Verse one, he says, blessed is the man. Msari wa kwanza sema kumbwa hairi mtu yule. Who does not walk in the counsel of the wicked? Asiye tembea katika njia ya wasio haki. Or stand in the way of sinners. Ama asiye simama njia ni mwenye dambi. But his delight. Is in the law of the Lord. And on, and on his law, he meditates day and night. Someone will help us to know how to delight in the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. May God bless you so much. Viewers, wherever you're watching us from, thank you for tuning in. We know you have been blessed. We know you have been encouraged. Because even me, I have been encouraged by what I've said. I've been edified by my own voice and the voice of the Holy Spirit. I cannot end this broadcast without giving us the opportunity to bless this ministry. To delight yourself with the word of God. And one of the things to delight is to obey what he says. Delighting in his law. So if you want to uh, uh, become a blessing to this ministry, at the bottom of the screen, there are instructions and ways how to give. Follow any that is suitable for you. And God shall bless you. Let's pray. Our Father, we thank you. Thank you, Holy Spirit. We will purpose to delight in you. We will purpose to delight in your word. And we will purpose to give to delight in your laws. And we thank you because you say in Jeremiah 1.12. 
Yeremia, you will follow your word to accomplish it. Open the windows of heaven and bless us with a blessing that our bands cannot contain. Become our defense. Deal with those who are performing evil against our jobs and businesses and schools. Let your name be exalted as we give let your might be seen in our giving. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. We will finish with the grace. And may the Lord bless you. May the grace of, of our, our Lord Jesus Christ, Christ and, and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Amen. Surely, goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives. And we shall dwell in the presence of our Father forever and ever. Amen. Shalom. Shalom. Amen. Shalom.